Webster. A poem about seeking after the pursuit of the quest of the dream of experiencing like the glimpse of God in a dolphin's eye as it slowly drifts further away with each teasing flip of its tail, a moment of pure artistic release, of consciousness expression, of orgasmic non-sentient display, of the collusion of viscera and intellect and lust and empathy and despair and the slightest glimmer of an ironic smile of the realization of death and its place in my universe. Be it paint, nor poetry, nor piano, nor that most elusive of non-arts, the one they even gave it a Greek word, where the hell is Vespia anyway? <laughs> a poem about acting and how precious it has become and always was, and why, that's a question. We revere the storytellers and not the story, the big-lipped, sultry, pouting, post-pubescent posers, the faux, indifferent, calculating, callously equating cool, a concept that holds no water upon any inclination of inspection but it precludes such through an unspoken challenge that can never be met, since the reality isn't. <laughs> a poem about my balls and the needs they inflict <laughs> upon me to inflict upon others. Second verse regarding their subtle and convincing manipulation of my emotions and their complete bamboozling of my brain. Only pulling back the tapestry post-orgasm yet again, and I am past the head-slapping response as, as is as accepted as is the sunrise and the resentment of the fuckers. So I am slave to my own love lust. Oh well, it sure has been better than has been worse, and there is no choice. I accept myself, respect myself, inspect myself, express myself. Oh Madonna, who'd have thunk it? You finally make sense to me. <laughs> Though you still can't sing. <laughs> a poem about being old and being young forever and never getting it together and refusing to relinquish pleasure and seeing the taunting treasure of the despairingly finite line of delicious life despite the grinding ordeal of descent through intent down to crushingly unjust death. Who cares? I do, but not enough to let it go without a mythologically sized struggle. Fingernails, bleeding eyes glazed over in mute rejection of the final fling. The only consolation that everything, balls to brains, face to follicles, to phalanges to fibula, muscles to mucus, lungs to lips, to lap to labia, skin to scrotum, lust to learning, to laying, to leaning, to lying, to loving, to letting it all go, will be worn to the bones, including the bones. The final breath being a relieved yet frustrated sigh, and the flicker of fingers denoting the shit I just remember what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs>